Today's video is sponsored by Boxu. Check the link in the description box below using the code NERDYCRAFTER10 to get 10% off up to $44 on your own authentic Japanese snack box. Alright, so did I or did I not buy the entire pickle collection by Mariah Elizabeth? The answer is yes. Question why? Because I find him so darn adorable. Not to mention that pickle and salty are BFFs. Isn't that right, pickle? Why you gotta do that? And so in today's video, we're going to be reviewing every single pickle merch that I was able to get my hands on. For those of you who don't know, Mariah Elizabeth is a huge creator here on YouTube, and it is no secret that we are friends as well. So fluff. Why is there fluff flying around? As I was saying, <laughs> if you're not familiar with her content, I will leave her links down below. She has some really fun series and an excellent and impeccable, impeccable sense of humor, if I say so myself. Who that? Probably, I don't know. I don't know how this works, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I believe back in August, Mariah had released bundles of her own characters as back to school things. And some of the bundles were the pickle bundle, which obviously is the one I went for. She also has Mariah Elizabeth character bundle. And I really hesitated grabbing this one simply because it's so colorful. The doodle bundle, which is wonderful for those of you who are more into simple designs. And then each item was sold separately if you didn't want bundles. But I did obviously pick up more than just the bundle. I got the pencil case and as well the hoodie. So we're going to explore them and see how much can we actually fit in to those pencil cases and the backpack. Oh, and in case you're wondering, Mariah Elizabeth just released some onesies, and um, yep, I, I did. I did pick them up, and uh, if you want to see me do an entire video with the onesie on, make sure we get to 35,000 likes. I feel like I'm safe in that zone, so if we reach 35,000 likes, I feel like you guys really want it, so we'll see what happens. And so, our first item... Mariah Elizabeth stationery kit. Everything about this box just screams Mariah Elizabeth. We have a cute little pickle flying an airplane. We have rainbow colors. We even have a cute little Georgie on the side. The only thing missing that that just needs to be Mariah Elizabeth because we know that she loves. I will do whatever it takes to make those sprinkles. Look at all those sprinkles. Oh, they're so beautiful. Yes, we're missing sprinkles. But I do love the design of this box and it does feel like it's already on the outside a good firm quality, none of that flimsy stuff. And even though I was patient waiting for all of my pickle items to show up, my cats, Ramses and Splinter, definitely got to all the packaging. Yep all those bite marks way before me. So for shame, dishonor on them and dishonor on the cow. I don't quite remember what's inside of this box, but I have an idea. I don't remember 100%, but this is why you and I are gonna find out together. Oh, and by the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, otherwise I may wave a sharp pointy thing at you, especially if you don't click on all notifications while you're there. Kinda scared myself when I pointed it this way. I'm like, did I just stab my nose? The answer is no, not yet. All right, time to see what we get inside. And I'm really excited. Oh, more wrapping, of course. Oh, what's that smell? <coughs> Plastic. Oh wow, these, these these are huge erasers. Okay, let's let's take everything out. Oh, the box is cute. First thing that catches my attention is the pig rabbit. And this is one of her squishy designs from just a couple of years ago. And this is a really cute notepad. Is it sticky again after? Yeah. Not on human skin, but on my shirt. It stayed. It does have quite some weight to it, so let's write a little note. One of the things I noticed immediately is that the eyes and nose are not a completely saturated and contrasted black, which makes it so that your ink or pen that you're going to use to write on will show. What do we have next? <gasps> stickers! Oh my god, stickers! I mean, we have stickers. I'm very, I'm, I'm, I'm very adult about, I love stickers so much. In order to keep the stickers not bent, we have this little 
card backing that also doubles as the box content card but we don't need this for now this is really cute though and on the other side we have a doodle in a classroom of all the characters this is cute there was a lot of attention to detail put into these now i feel bad throwing them they're not being thrown in the garbage just being clear okay I'm just, my storage is behind me okay that it's just my storage i'm not throwing them away just to be clear and the sticker paper that this comes on is also a thick material. I absolutely love the design and the colors are really saturated. It's making me want to turn these into resin charms and then send them back to Mariah. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that, but if she does, I can definitely keep these as a forever kind of charm that she can keep. Probably a tile. A tile would be cute. Or even coasters. Too many ideas. Let me know which sticker is your favorite. I probably want to say that Georgie here is my favorite, along with Pickle, of, of obviously, obviously Pickle. Yeah, you better not forget me. I said don't worry, don't get jealous for no reason. And then, <gasps> these are adorable. Oh my God. I feel like the theme for today is adorable. We have some paper clips and let's get a, f oh, that's an interesting feel. It kind of feels like an eraser, but not. It's like a silicon charm that is nicely embedded. Let's pull on there. Yeah, this is not, this is not coming out. Very nice. And let's hear it. It's, it's quite, it's got, it's got weight. <laughs> I, I definitely know how to review school supplies. Feels nice and heavy. <laughs> but in all seriousness, these details and the quality feel very nice, as well as Georgie. Super, super cute. And it's, oh, the back actually shows the real back. Did we, did we check the other one? This is the front and this is the back. So the designs are printed on both sides. See? I'm really glad that my friends who've been putting out really awesome merch are as picky as I am, so want to make sure that everything is spot on because then i don't have to bring the salt i know that salty crafter is probably not happy about this because she can't come out and just spread the salt everywhere and be angry about everything but hey sometimes it's my turn sometimes it's it feels nice to not have to throw things in the trash i mean in the trash this is a habit that a lot of craft kits have done to me if you want to watch videos of me being absolutely salty i'll leave them in the description box below and then we have a cute character with a cupcake i can't remember the name of this character let me know in the comments and again quality and feel of these paper clips are just adorable let's test them in the book probably paper that's what paper clips are for not bookmarks good job jackie All right, you know what? Books are basically paper <laughs> bundles. So let's just go ahead and put it all together. Oh, that is a nice firm hold. Look at that, look at that. Nice. Next we have a squishy. For those of you who wanna say, But Jackie, why do we need a squishy in a stationary set? Stop, 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 stop. Mm, mm. Mm. This is so cute. Hang on, to answer the question, things like squishies and back a good few years ago, fidget spinners were used as stress relief. So squishies are still pretty good as stress relief. And here, oh my god, this is textured. I thought the cone was just the drawing, but it's actually textured. Look at that. We have texture right here. And the squishiness level is, oh, that is dense. It's not a slow rising, but it is quite dense. Oh my god. That has a nice, nice, like, nice, mm, like a grip to it. <laughs> and this design is, again, based on her series, Squishy Makeover. And I've seen this one, and I thought they were absolutely adorable. But I can't get over the fact that this is so textured. I like this a lot. <laughs> Doesn't smell like anything, but this is cute. And now for the actual writing set, the notebook, erasers, and pencils. You saw nothing! And so in this kit, we are getting a notebook, three erasers, and some pencils. I really want us to focus on the notebook, so I'm just gonna... Move these. And right off the bat, the quality of the cover is 
pretty stiff in, in, a, in a good way. But let's take a moment to appreciate that this just isn't a notebook, it's a spiral bound notebook, which makes it so that when you're taking notes, you can just really flip it over and write. So that, that is really convenient. So you don't have to take up the entire desk area, you can flip it around. As someone who likes to spread my stationery all over my desk, taking less space is very appreciated. The glossy design on top is also really cute, and the characters on there almost feels like a character hunt, so you can watch the Squishy Makeover series and probably spot your favorite ones on the cover itself. As much as I love Creatures of Darkness, I do appreciate saturated colors and the lines on the inside. Ooh, the lines on the inside are nicely separated, so they give you plenty of space. I really have no other thing to say other than it's it's really cute. But the question is, how many pages? Doesn't say. And now. Eraser. Oh, oh, are these pencil holes? So it seems like the erasers are going to be doubling as pencil toppers. That is really cute. The details. The erasers we're getting are Georgie Pickle and the oversized Bow Monkey. I remember that episode. I just can't remember if she had a name. They do feel quite heavy, so we're going to be testing it in not too long with the pencils that come with it. And as you can see, the pencils have a printed design right on top, and I'm guessing it's the exact same design on the notebook, just so that they match, so the characters are very similar, if not exactly the same. Let's go ahead and sharpen the pencil with my trusty bunny pencil sharpener. And um, don't ask questions about this pencil sharpener. If you have questions about this one, it was sent to me by my my friend delightful if you don't have a sense of humor don't don't talk to me this is just what it is all right so far it does sharpen very easily oh and there's like this plastic film on top interesting two thousand years later and the pencil pull test Okay, we are doing good. And we're going to be bringing our notepad back. And we're going to write grains in three different uh, pressures. And in case you didn't know, a grain is you. When you subscribe to this channel, you are automatically part of the salt shaker family in which each one of us is an itty bitty tiny little grain of salt. So you grains are grains. Part of me is like, I don't want to ruin any of the erasers, but let's just use the corner over here. I mean, they're, they're made to be used. So let's try with all three and see how well it works on the different pressures. So as you can tell, obviously light pressure worked well, medium pressure worked okay, hard pressure doesn't work too well. But then again, that's most erasers. So make sure you're hovering between the two first ones if you want your item to be erased. And now for our next items, the pencil cases. I really didn't expect the donut one to be as big as my face, which is way bigger than pickle, but let's, let's unwrap them. You can probably see the difference way better now. This is, this is, this is huge. So when it comes to the pickle and the plushie, first of all, they do feel nice and soft. Pickle himself is extra, way softer, I think. But then again, that could just be because there's the fluffy spikes on the back. They both have embroidery on them in order to have the face and the markings. And the donut does have what we would, I guess, call shading right on top and on the sides. But what I'm mostly curious about is capacity. How much can pickle take and how much can the donut take? All right, so here, Here's pickle. I know my hand looks massive, but that's because I have sausage fingers and my hands could, they could basically be a shovel at this point. Let's look at that. My hand is huge. <laughs> All right, so let's see what pickle's mouth capacity is. And this feels wrong. This feels wrong, but I'm going in. I'm going in. <laughs> Okay, so this is probably perfect for those of you who don't have much to put in there. I feel like it could probably take these three pencils very comfortably or not. Hang on, let's try. Okay, so it can take these two pencils. Third one might be pushing it. Nope, we got a third one in. And let's try and put one eraser. We could probably put more. I'm really stuffing them. Let's put a pickle inside a pickle. 
All right, there we go. So I feel like this is probably the perfect capacity without trying to ruin it. So if you're not packing too much, this is probably the good size for you. However, my guess is that this one will definitely carry weight. Oh, that is quite the heavy duty zipper. Good for you. Oh. Fluff. And er, me, gird. The space in here is is quite enormous. I'm guessing we could probably even fit all of Pickle in here. Look at that. Oh no, Pickle, I'm sorry. What are you doing to me? Pickle, just, this is for experimentation. Stop doing this. Just wait, Pickle. It's okay, all right? This is just for science. Don't worry about it. Yep, the entirety of Pickle is in here. How dare you unhand me, you fiend! Pickle, we do not use this language here. All right, come back out here. You can hang out here for now, okay? I don't really want to hang out with you. Fine, I'll put you over there. In all seriousness, here's how much more capacity we have. So these pencils are really tiny in comparison. All three erasers, the notepad, and I could probably put more. So hang on, I'm just gonna... Just gonna why is my hair a mess? Okay, hang on. I'll be right back. Just give me a second, I'll be right back. I'm just going to go and get more material in, in my background because that's where all the cool stuff hangs out. I'm not gonna go get the plush, but I got them though. <laughs> so here is my pencil hold- wait, you, you could go away. And I'm fairly confident that I could probably put the entirety of this inside the pencil case. That includes Sharpies, colored pencils, and highlights. So, yep. Easy. So if you're going to be carrying around your colored pencils for any of your art projects, or if you're going to use highlighters and things to take notes with, this is probably the bigger capacity and better option in case you want, you know, to pack it bigger. That came out wrong. That's what she said. I'm an adult. Next we have... The Pickle Lunchbox. I absolutely love cooking, so the opportunity to have a lunchbox themed with one of my favorite, my favorite little squishy characters is definitely a plus. This design is a lot less saturated than previous products that we've had, but my guess is sometimes you don't want things in your face. I love the embroidery of Mariah Elizabeth's logo at the bottom. The lunchbox itself is quite the size, so I'm really curious how much we can fit in there and how big of a container we can put. All right, so we do get a pocket in the front over here, quite quite a good size. And then on the inside, ooh, insulated. Oh, wow. Oh, silica packet, don't eat. Okay, so this is nice insulation and it's really deep on the inside. And we have this little hook thing over here. I'm not sure what you could put in here. Probably utensils, I guess. So let's go ahead and put one of my favorite type of containers, which is a bento. You can separate your, your lunch. And oh, wow, that does fit. It is quite a huge container, so it does fit nicely. And we still have a lot of space. You could probably put in a fruit. Yeah, still good. And I don't have a juice packet, but I'm going to assume a juice packet could probably fit right here. There. That is quite a sizable lunchbox. And let's close it. No problem. Look at that. So definitely a really good size for a lunchbox. At first when I saw it, I have to be honest, I was like, this is way too big. But then seeing how much you can fit in there, obviously with a huge lunchbox, well, huge container, you can put quite a bit. Let's say if you're not using a huge container like this one, but you are using a tiny bento, which has different layers for your food, you have even more space. Look at that. You could probably pack in more fruits, some fresh veggies, maybe a container with a dip for your broccoli or whatever veggies you enjoy. But I have to say that this is probably one of my favorite items that I've picked up simply because food. <laughs> Who are we kidding? I love, I love packing lunches. So this is insulated, you can put quite a bit and you can carry it practically for the whole day. Actually, most likely your lunch and a supper in here. And if you don't want a juice box, you can definitely easily fit in your water bottle or a reusable water bottle of this size. And of course, don't forget your fruits and veggies. Next, we have the pickle backpack. This is going to be very challenging to actually record, so. Ooh. So my main point is to see how much capacity it has. Is it made for a laptop or no laptops? Oh, these tiny hands are so cute. And he has little feet. Oh my God. <laughs> so, oh, the details. 
there's even a tiny little charm of pickle. And the straps are not just straps, but they have these cute little dino spikes and the little, the little, these little markings. This is adorable. And you gotta love the tags. I love tags. Oh, so according to the tag, this is what this bag is good for. And it does say that it's good for a laptop or a tablet in the main compartment. Pretty impressed because I love cute bags. And when I traveled back when we could, I loved using backpacks. I even have an All Might backpack that I got. I didn't get a chance to use it because I need to travel and I miss traveling. But let's look at the compartments. All right, so here is our main compartment, which is Pickle's mouth, and it zips all the way around until where the straps go. Oh, oh, that is cute. I love the details. It's not just a black inside. It is immediately still with the same color theme. We have one large pocket over here. And I'm assuming this is the compartment that's for the tablet or laptop. And there is a padding on the back, but I would probably recommend putting a little bit more padding if you are as paranoid as I am. I just, I'm, I'm really paranoid with my, <laughs> with my electronics. And then down here, holy carp, that is a lot of space. I'm usually very worried about my own materials in terms of space and the one I currently have is just not big enough. And just to give you an idea, here's how much space you have compared to the little notebook that we got. And if we want to put more items, these are absolutely gigantic anthologies. <laughs> of art books and let's put two of them in here and we still have space look at that we didn't even take up half the space so you can easily put in your books probably even your clothes probably even sneakers if you're going to train afterwards or if you're going to travel you can put your laptop and some clothes for a couple of days all right i'm just gonna take everything out in case you're wondering no there are no side pockets so if you wanted to carry your water bottle you probably would need to put it in the front over here which is Pickle's belly. Again, nice detailing with the color, very nice scheme. And you could probably put more pens and pencils in here. And so as someone who loves dinosaurs, I mean, this is one of my backpacks. This, this is a backpack. This has so much space and I do anticipate most likely using this when traveling for one or two days in the future. And now for the last item that I got that is pickle themed that all came out at the same time is a pickle sweater. The moment I saw this sweater, I was like, Ermi, Gert, I need it. I need it. I need it because I love a clothing line called Fairy Tale, and they have these absolutely adorable designs that have little spikes, and if it's a kitty hoodie, it has kitty ears. And this reminded me so much of it simply because of the amount of details on it. What do you mean? Let me show you. Okay, so, so hang on, hang on. Okay, so first, the inside of the hoodie is printed with pickle, and it has Mariah Elizabeth's insignia on the inside. The color blocking of the sleeves being a different color from the body, also that is an aesthetic I absolutely adorn. I have quite a few sweaters with the same idea. We have an embroidery of pickle right on the, I guess, left side when I wear it. And there's a pocket on the front. There's so many sweaters that don't have that cool pocket, but I need that pocket and I'm really happy about it. And also pickle's markings are embroidered in the front. The material itself is really light and it feels like it would be perfect for both spring and fall, at least here in Canada. For, not in the winter, because our winters yeah, I, I don't need to show you too much, but here, here's a clip of our winters. They're pretty intense. I don't know where you are in the US or in Canada, but most of Canada, we have intense winters. Pretty cozy. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, today we are sponsored by Boksu. For those of you who don't know, Boksu is a premium Japanese subscription snack box that was a mouthful, that focuses on quality and flavor. So unlike many other boxes that just focus on dagashi and sugariness, we don't want no cheap stuff. Boksu wants you to experience Japan's flavors and snacks as they should be. And that's why they partner up with companies that are well established and over 100 years old in Japan, which gives you some pretty good exclusives. Each month, you will get anywhere between 20 and 25 snacks that are curated based on a theme. However, if you are a first time subscriber, you will get what's called Seasons of Japan. So you'll get a bit of a tasting of what you might experience throughout the year. And then afterwards, you will get themes. So for example, this this month's theme is Colors of Kyoto. Let's taste some snacks. Strawberry Azuki Crunch. Mmm. Oh, oh, I need a hundred. 
Mm -hmm. Haiku Sendai, very premium looking packaging. Ooh. Isn't that? This looks really artistic. Hmm. Oh, there's like a mixture of sweetness and saltiness combined. Oh, wow. Oh, this is so precious. Sweet potato cake. Oh, it's so tiny. <laughs> oh, wow. Mmm. Oh, that is delicate. Holy carp. Oh, oh, these are good. In addition to the snacks, you do get a wonderful cultural guide that tells you where each snack originates from within Japan and if there are common allergens and if it's vegetarian friendly. Starting at $36.99 per box, which includes shipping and tracking, Boxu really makes me feel like I am missing Japan because these are things I would genuinely buy. So if you're interested, check the link in description box below and use the code NERDYCRAFTER10 for 10% off. That's up to $44 on your own authentic Japanese subscription box. Thank you, Boxu, for sponsoring this video. And so here is everything that we reviewed today from Mariah Elizabeth's Pickle merch and, and a couple of extras because I couldn't help myself. This video is not sponsored and not affiliated. My opinions and my observations are definitely 100% my own. I'm just really happy I have friends who like to focus on quality. It makes reviewing so much less nerve-wracking and I don't have to worry about throwing things in the trash. I'm touched. I am genuinely happy to see Mariah and her new merch and the way that she's just releasing really fun things. So if you are interested in any of her stuff, I will leave them down below. But equally, if you are interested in This Is My Happy Face merch, which is basically just me and Salty Crafter combined together, I will equally leave that in the description box below because it, it represents many of us who just have resting salt face syndrome. You know, this one. If you want to watch the previous review of a YouTuber's product, make sure you check up here. Or if you want to watch a crafty video of me customizing My Little Ponies, make sure you check down here. This week's shoutouts go to Ovuru, Court Meister, Boba T19, Akani Dem XM. Remember, if you want a shoutout, hashtag NerdyCrafter on the social media or Notification Squad in the comment section below. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.